Welcome to the Collector's Review with another episode of Fake vs. Real. In this episode, we get up close with the Halloween Michael Myers NECA action figure. And yes, the bootleggers brought this one back from the dead. So make sure you stay tuned as we get close up. Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode of Fake vs. Real, we get up close with the NECA Halloween Michael Myers action figure that they came out with in around, I think, 2007, 2008. So we're going to get up close with this one in this episode, though. I am not going to be opening up the real one. I apologize, you guys. That is like a $200 toy, so I cannot be busting it open like that because... I got the fake one. The fake one I'm going to bust open for you guys. So if you guys can't tell which one is fake, which one is the real, the one I need left, the one looking down to the left of the screen is the fake one. And you can tell by the O in the Halloween. That is a big tall tail. You can tell by the colors of the different colors of the orange. The orange is in uh, the Halloween, but you can definitely tell by the middle of the O in the Halloween. And before we go any further, you know the collector re Collector's Review brings you everything from action figure unboxing comic books statue unboxings anything that has to do with collectibles so if you can hit that little subscribe button on the bottom for your boy that would be very appreciated I got past 4,000 subscribers and I want to thank everybody for keeping up with me and keep on going with this so let's go up close with these action figures real quick and take turn on the light for you guys so I can see up close and I see right here off top there's paint off on this one on the fake one right here on the plastic I don't know if you guys can see it um, the Jason is looking down to the left his face is a lot cleaner than the real one then the pumpkin is a different shade of orange not bad but let's look at the Michael Myers definitely two different colors like again left is fake right is real but huge different color in the orange and then the sides look about right the day the, the feel the texture of the back is definitely different this is the cult classic so you see the difference right there in Donnie Darko Army of Darkness, definitely two big shades of dark. And then they both have, they actually both have that stamp on there. So right there, the 00907. So they actually got close with that one. But you can still see the difference in clarity. It's way clearer on the real one. They're just trying to bring this back, man, because this is worth this one. This one is worth so much, and the Halloween again with the O in the middle, and the top is the real, the bottom is a fake. So it looks pretty good. 2010, this came out, and so this is smaller than this one, the numbers, but everything else looks pretty good on. All right. So, like I said, not going to be busting him open. I will hold him up close to the camera so we can see best as we can. But I will take this one out the package for you guys. Let's see what this bad boy looks like up close. They've been coming out and releasing um, a few old uh, action figures that have gone up in price. Like one that I seen was the, uh, that's the back of it. One that I seen was the Big Red Predator. That one they got fakes of and they've been uh, putting, them out, putting them out at auction. 
so people think they're real so they have people bidding over them for all the people that don't know they're fake so just make sure you guys look out for that I know there's, a, there's still people out there that don't know there's fake or don't believe there's fake well in this case it's definitely not gonna catch this one for twenty six dollars and I'm they don't have ten of them so let's look at this this is the fake one up close no knees very shiny now on his clothes he is not shiny like that you could just tell with his tracksuit how shiny this one is compared to how that one is and it's two different colors so let's look at his head back down his head is very loose feels like it's about to break off his arms out his elbow bent Oh, his elbow does not bend so the elbow just moves like this and same with this one so um, and his waist does not move on this one so this is literally his boot moves a little bit and this boot moves um, it looks like there's a line there where his waist would move. I'm pretty sure that the real one, his waist moves. I'm almost positive. So I know people out there, there's somebody out there that has opened them up before. So if you have opened up the real one and you know if the waist moves, which I'm pretty sure it should move. Um, comment down below if you have the real one that you opened up before so off top his hands are all nasty not painted all the way both hands suit jacket it's not a bad paint paint job but it is a different color from the real one and the same thing with the hands The, his, the real hands are more of a real human a little bit tanner compared to this one this one is way too way too white so oh. that's about it with this one you can tell the difference in the faces the mask the mask is brighter on the fake one and then we have the pumpkin they didn't do too bad on the pumpkin and I think the pumpkin is supposed to light up it's supposed to do something because it has a battery but I don't know I'll try messing with it and then he comes with one knife sorry for the paint on my fingers guys I've been messing around and making some uh, stuff behind the scenes some different dioramas and different uh, this is what I've been messing with now the Necronomicon yeah so I'm gonna be dropping a video soon about how to do how to make those books so that was it for the Halloween cult classic Michael Myers NECA action figure the articulation on arms are horrible I do not like them so as for other anything other than posing it is not not a good figure Surprise is worse so the older one is worse so much But again some of the paint came off on his nose You can see right there Then uh, on his forehead 
on this one it looks like a vein here it looks about the same but his face looks fatter on the fake one skinnier on the real one and you can definitely tell by the shading the shading on the mask where the cheeks come in come down where his mouth how his mouth looks and sits so definitely a bigger head on the fake one but everything that you can see the biggest tall tale of it all is when it's in the box is that O in Halloween you see that O filled in in Halloween you tell that person that is a fake and I do not want to buy so until next time that was another episode of fake versus real make sure you guys keep up if I can get you to hit that little red subscribe button down there make sure you hit that little red subscribe button for you boy I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers and I'm trying to keep it moving and I'm gonna definitely be unboxing some more and more and more so you guys got more fake first reels coming versus reels coming and I have some more NECA action figure unboxings coming so make sure you guys stay tuned until next time this was the collector's review we out peace Thank <laughs> you.